Good morning, beloveds. It's good to be here with you in worship on this Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the last Sunday before Easter, and it's this day where we remember when Jesus and the disciples first entered the city of Jerusalem, and they called everybody to be a part of creating a new world, a world rooted in love. And he gathered at table with his beloveds, and they had the first communion. This is the week where our communion practices come from. So this is a powerful week in our life as Christians together. And I'm reminded that as Jesus was on the way to Jerusalem and throughout this week, there are different moments in the Bible where Jesus is found quoting different parts of the Psalms. You remember that in this time of Lent, we have been saying together as a prayer to live in our bodies. Verse 1 from Psalm 46, God is a refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And similar to us, we might imagine that Jesus was saying these verses from the Psalms to connect himself to his deeper ancestors and to his rich tradition, to give himself courage for the days ahead. And so this is a, a practice that we share with Jesus and are invited into again this Palm Sunday. And the practice that I want us to combine with our prayer of the Psalms it's a practice known as making palm crosses. Now, on Palm Sunday, we celebrate Jesus' desire to create a new world rooted in love by waving palms. And we also are invited to dedicate our lives to being a part of creating this new world. And so as we fold this palm branch into a cross, this is a way that we can recommit ourselves to being a part of the love in the world. So I want to show you how to make this simple frond into a cross. You can just take it and then, let's see if this will work. You fold it over like so, like so it's an L shape, and then you keep wrapping it once and then wrap it twice. So then you'll see like a square like a square at the top. Take that. Now you take this longer bottom piece of the frond, bring it up, and through. So it'll come through the square like a pocket, and you can just keep pulling it. You can keep pulling it until it knots itself. So then you have this knotted L shape. And you can take this longer arm. This is going to turn into the arms of our cross. You can take this and just fold it through the pocket. And it might fray. That's all right. So you have one. And then just wrap it back around. Take that other side and just stick that through as well. Now you have a T. And the last part is you take the long part of the bottom, wrap it up through the back, and pull it, flip it over, and you can just pull it, and then there might be like a kind of a bubble at the top, and that's our cross. So this week, I invite you to, maybe you're going on a walk through the neighborhood that you live in, maybe there's a, a palm branch that you find on the ground, and you can just take one of these. And as you fold your cross, I invite you to say the prayer that we've been praying together. Maybe with each fold, you can say, God is a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. And you could carry this cross with you. You could put it at a table where you find yourself um, maybe doing your schoolwork or eating with your household. You could carry it with you in your pocket or put it by your bed. There are lots of different ways. You can put it by your mirror in your bathroom, and every time you wash your hands, you can remember that, that as you wash your hands, that's an act of, of loving your community, and this cross can help remind you of that. So this is our practice for this week. I look forward to hearing how these palm crosses live in your life. Let's take a deep breath together, like we do each week and center ourselves in prayer and for the rest of worship. 
God. Be with each of your beloveds in this time. And may our prayers of psalms give us the knowledge that we are your beloved children and the courage to live from a deep place of love and to connect to all of your creation from this place. Be with us in these days of Holy Week and as we anticipate your resurrection on Easter. We pray this in your beloved Son's name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, beloveds.